So I got a request to show the process of retargeting in a make some animation with throat motion in Unreal Engine 5. So I already have done that in Unreal Engine 4 uh, and I have a video as well on that. Uh, today I'm gonna try the same process in Unreal Engine 5 and see if it works or do we have to have to make any changes to the process. Mm. Right, first I'm gonna download this uh, Ybot character. I think T-Post would do. Then let's download an animation with road motion. There should be a jump attack, I remember. Let's try this one. What about the other one? Okay, I think that's good. Let's download it without skin. Because we already have the skin in the whiteboard character. And I'll put it into this folder, both model and animation. Then let me open Blender. Okay, I'm using version 2.82. This is a bit older version that I have used previously uh, because I have already employ, uh, installed Mixamo plugin as well and I'm using this Mixamo plugin, uh, Mixamo converter Blender plugin. You, I'll put the link to this GitHub page and there you have guides on how to install this as well so go through that and you'll be able to install it in blender now let me copy this path and here as the input path i'll give that path and as the output path let's create a new folder converted copy the path right that's the output and under advanced options uh, i don't think we have to change any of these uh, yeah when i use on ground only the horizontal movement will be there in the root and make sure to enable unreal engine born names bash convert Okay, two files converted, got the notification and we have those files, these are the original files and these are the converted files with Unreal Engine Epic Skeleton phone names. Now let me open Unreal 5. Oh. I'm gonna use this folder to create Right, go to games. Mm, that folder is already selected. Let's name it retarget. And it should be blueprint. Create. Right. Now here is the default project in the default map. Oh, I forgot to add the third person character because we need a character to test retargeting. So go to Content no but the uh, blue no oh, if you didn't see go to add add feature or content pack select third person add to project now after doing that if you go to world settings where is world settings right here select third person game mode and play okay you have the character 
all right so let's create a new folder to import make some more character we just converted let me import this one first Fibot skeletal mesh import mesh import Okay, here we have the make some character. Let me put it here. And also I'll import this mutant jump attack. Here no need to import mesh, only the animation. Oh sorry, this is a skeletal mesh. Disable import mesh, yeah. And import right here we have the animation okay now to implement retargeting retargeting let's go to the skeleton and retarget manager select the rig humanoid and already uh, by default these are selected because the, we have the same names as the uh, unreal epic skeleton so that's why i did that before importing using the bender plugin all right and uh, i need to modify this to have a similar pose as the mannequin let me open a mannequin as well yeah i need to have a pose somewhat similar to this modify force use current force I'm not sure how to do this okay let's create a pose make some more pose animation uh, I think uh, if we just use current pose it should be fine let's save now go back to mannequin and go to the mannequin skeleton here go to the retarget manager make sure that you have selected your trick and key mannequin is skeleton need to be saved preview mesh is this one right and then go to the animation go to make some folder see if this retarget duplicate and retarget right now you can select the mannequin here mm. change the folder to retarget so the retargeted animations will be created here just press retarget okay so the animation is working on the epic skeleton and one thing if when you try to do retarget an animation 
if the other animation if the other character skeleton doesn't show up here try this uh, i think that happens in unreal 4 uh, when that happens just reselect whatever the preview image and apply to asset some pop-up notification will appear here and press apply when you do that that problem goes away okay now let's see if the road motion works for that we have to enable road motion Okay. Now let me open the third person character because we need to play that animation. And also I'm going to play this with the montage. So in order to support montage, we have to modify the animation blueprint as well. Here is the yeah let's define a key return enter when i press enter play any montage select oh i haven't created an animation montage let's create one Mutant jump attack. Compile. Right. Now go to the animation blueprint and make sure we have montage support to be. We don't. Slot. Default slot. Right. That's all you have to do to support montages and we don't have any layers so default layer is enough okay when I press enter you can see character is moving but the vertical movement is not happening properly because let me go to the animation I have a performance issue in Unreal 5 let me disable root motion and select the root yeah you can see here root bone is moving up but in order to move up if uh, my character has uh, gravity my character reacts to gravity so that's why character don't go up if i want the character to go up what i can do is either we can change the move mode mode to fly before playing the animation and end it so we can do something like this if we want Set moment mode to fly and then hit the mesh play and mesh play montage this one on blend out set moment mode to okay let me re-enable root motion now character should be able to move up as well see now it works better okay anyway now you can see the root motion is working without an issue so that's why character actually displays and if i make the capsule visible you can see capsule is moving with the character i 
disable hidden in game so we can see the character so here is a capsule and capsule is moving up all right so with this i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode Goodbye.